हेलो चिल्ड्रेन हाउ आर यू होप यू आर डूइंग वेल चिल्ड्रेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर फर्स्ट चैप्टर इन मैथमेटिक्स व्हाट इज द चैप्टर नेम लाइंस एंड रेस लाइंस एंड रेस इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सम बेसिक जियोमेट्रिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड फिगर्स what are we going to learn yes some basic geometric concepts and figures shall we start children take a paper fold the paper as shown in the video in the same way you have to fold the paper now unfold the paper what is this this location is called a point that means this point doesn't have any size now fold it in the other side of the paper this location is also called a point now fold in other side of the paper this location is also called a point we can find infinite number of points on a surface we can find infinite number of points on a surface that is nothing but called as a plane point what is a point children what is the definition of point a point is defined as a location in any space and is represented by a dot and is represented by a dot it does not have any length height shape or size it marks the beginning to draw any figure or shape and is labeled with capital letters a point is defined as a location in any space and it is represented by a dot it does not have any length height shape or size it marks the beginning to draw any figure or shape and it is labeled only with capital letters here is a pep activity in your studio children Vignesh has drawn a map of his classroom. He has used a point to represent himself. He has used a point to represent himself and another point to represent his teacher and another point to represent his teacher Miss Vini. in the same way children you have to draw a map of your own think room means classroom mark the positions of your teacher and yourself with dots you'll do it children yes marking points we can mark a point on same plane or surface let us take a paper as plane and mark some points and you have to name this points only with capital letters
See children, I have named the points. And these points are read as point A, point B, point S, point X, point Q, point P, point R. In this figure, which is the leftmost point? Yes, point S. Which point is closest to point P? Yes, point R. Here is one more activity. Draw. We cannot draw children. We have to mark. Mark three points inside this box and three points outside it. We have to mark any three points inside the box and three points outside the box. And name all your points with letters. Only with capital letters. Look at this children. If we join point again, point again. Infinitely. What do we get? Line. Now tell me, what is a line? A set of connected points in a straight path that continue forever in opposite directions. A set of connected points in a straight path that continue forever in opposite directions like this. That is called a line. A line has one dimension that is only length and it does not have a width or height. How can we name it children? If point is there, we name it with capital English letters. Then what about line? Yes, in two ways we can name the line. One is with capital letters and another one is with small letters. See, this is written as line AB. Line A, B. It extends both sides endlessly. And also it is named as line M. Okay children. A set of connected points in a straight line with continue forever in opposite directions. A line has one dimension. It does not have a width or height. We use either one lower case letter to name a line or two points with the symbol. We use either one lower case Letter to name a line or two points with the symbol. Here are the examples of line which extends both sides endlessly. A line drawn on the road and the lines that drawn in the ground. So, they extend 
opposite sides endlessly now here is a worksheet name the given lines you have to name this lines for example this is marked as a and this is marked as b this is line a b line a b which extends both sides endlessly if i mark this as c name the possible lines in this line children line ab line ac line cb or line bc line ca and line b these are the names of the possible lines in this given line in the same way you have to complete this three lines okay children in the next session we will discuss the remaining topics